Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakak, Hodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick video in regards to the the Jews, the real Jews, or the House of Judah, or the Portuguese Jews of Jamaica. And uh, this is just going to be um, our overall breakdown, you know, of um, of our people, you know, who came to the Americas and um, they established themselves, you know, but we fell ultimately, right? Because, um, you know, when you read this prophecy, I'm going to get it. Jeremiah 17 and 4. No, Jeremiah 17 verse 3. O my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasure to the spoil and thy high places for sin throughout all the borders. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from, my, from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve their enemies in the land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever so we know because we transgress you know against Yahweh Bashim you know we fell and ultimately um you know it had to go down like this you know because um you know, because um, when you get this prophecy in Revelation, Revelation 20 and 1, and I saw another slaka, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. So the angel is Yahweh Shai, all right? And he had having a uh, uh, having a key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Right. So this was, um, you know, when the Roman Empire, the pagan Roman Empire, you know, how they came up, you know, and, um, you know, like they had their time, you know, and uh, ultimately uh, the pagan Roman Empire fell and then. Um, you know, like, um, you know, um, like Clidius Niger, you know, or uh, the five good uh, emperors, you know, and then um, like Septimius Severus, he came back to power, you know, which means uh, like Severus service, it means, which, which means uh, that color of seven, you know, and uh, Jake came back to power. And ultimately, um, Esau fell. Esau went into uh, into captivity, you know. And uh, Esau was brought low, man, you know, through uh, the Caucasus Mountains, you know. And uh, he was brought low, you know. Esau was just a, a, like a nobody, man. And like we were, we rose up to power. We had great empires throughout uh, Europe, North Africa, West Africa, and so on and so on. And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, right? So basically from um, the five good emperors, all right, which was Jake, you know, so like Septimius Severus, till... Uh, basically uh like the 1400s when we started to fall basically the 1300s you know with the black plague you know that came upon europe you know with uh a lot of death you know um you know with the pneumonic plague you know that struck the majority of uh of jake in europe all right because uh you know, like we fell ultimately, right? And, um, you know, Esau came back to power. Uh, 
you know basically uh, the Ottoman Turk you know 1453 the Turks you know which is um, they're uh, linked up with the Khazar Empire you know pretty much um, you know you know the Khazar Empire they pretty much they learned you know like the, our laws you know th th they learned our customs all right to uh ultimately all right and that's why they call themselves the serpent people you know um have a qu quick book the 13 tribe written by author Kostler. fascinated controversial uh written by philip Tabin bin the observer so this is uh written by uh a so a small hat you know you know and uh, he was exposed in you know in order to uh, you know these people all right you know to, to be uh basically that um there would have to be a third team tribe all right and um because esau he doesn't fit you know these thing because you know these people are just converts you know and then like that's why they call themselves judaism right or ish right because they wanna act like they're a jew like they wanna be us all right so lucky yeah, one second a lot of good good information this is page 25 this is um in the first 20th year it's like in the first 20 years of the Hijra Saka of in the first twenty years of the Hijra, Muhammad fights to to Medellin. No, Muhammad fights to Medina in 1622 A.D., which with which the which the Arab calendar starts. So, right, so basically when Muhammad he came on the scene you know and that's why I'm gonna get this scripture all right because um you know when that whole Islam came on the scene man uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of death man all right because Muhammad all right he was basically funded by uh, you know by the by the church right because at that time you know like jake was in power right of the of the church the roman church right and um basically that religion was funded to drive out the arabs from off our land so that we could inherit back our land the holy land and thus why we had the crusades where you read about the Crusades, the Sarsarins, or the Saracens, all right, which there were a b bunch of Jake mixed up with the Arabs, all right, and um, you know ultimately, um, you know the Knights, the, the the Knights Templars, and you know the Crusades, you know like who uh, Jake you know was in power you know who funded those type of uh wars you know from uh england france you know is a is a war and um we want to get rid of uh, those eras from off our land man it's like yeah it's kind of all over the place it's like yeah
yeah, this is, uh, you know, like the blessing of uh, Ishmael, you know. Because ultimately, you know, the, the you know, those are uh, Ishmaelites, you know, you Edomites, you guys want to inherit the blessing, all right? But the blessing is only given unto Isaac, all right? And Jacob and the 12 patriarch is not given unto the, uh, Ishmael or Edom. Genesis 16 and uh, 6, verse 6. And Abraham said unto Sarah, Behold, Thy name, Oslaka, behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarah dealt hardly with her, she fled from her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found, found her by the fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain of the way of shore and he had and he said hagar sarah's maids when went comest thou all right because th this is hagar right because sarah all right this was uh you know abraham uh his uh his mistress all right you know without uh, like uh having hagar she was a servant under uh under sarah all right and um, whence comest thou, and whither wilt thou go? And she said, I, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarah. And the, all right, because you know, because at that time Sarah, she like you know, like she didn't have a a seed, you know, and basically uh, Abraham he popped her, and she was jealous. You know, these, um, these black women, you know, <laughs> you know, so Sarah, you know, Sarah was jealous. All right. The angel of the Lord said unto her, return to thy mistress and sh submit thyself unto her hand. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed and exceed exceedingly that it shall not be numbered for the multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with a child, and shalt bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael means heard of God. All right. Yashmael, uh, or Yashmael, all right, which means her Yahis, Il, Sha'il, which means heard of God. All right. And uh, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, all right, and look at that. Cause there's a lot of history, man. All right, and um, it's not just A B C one two three. You know, this is like a lot of history and um, thing. And basically, the people in the land of uh, Israel. All right. The state of Israel and then Palestine, you know, West Bank, um, you know, like Lebanon, Syria, you know, like these were lands where, you know, that's basically was given unto the, you know, Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the 12 patriarchs, right? But because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father, you know, we have all these heathen. You know, these uh, Ishmaelites, you know, and these Edomites who's inhabiting our land, man. Yash my il. No, Yash my Allah. Yash my Allah. This is uh, God will hear. All right. Son, son of Abraham and Sarah's handmaid, Hagar, and the progenitor of Abraham's of the Arabian people, all right? And that's what, you know, that, that was the blessing, all right? 
you know because abraham like that's why abram or abram which means uh which means exalted all right abram and then uh he changed his name all right the lord he, he made him change his name to abraham which means father of a multitude all right and um so abraham had many ch seed many children many seeds all right but you know the chosen seed it was given to abraham isaac and jacob and the 12 patriarchs all right and we're going to get that after and um and he and he will suck it, and he will be a wild man his hand will be against everyone and every man's hands against him and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren all right and basically um you know with the crusades you know there was many wars all right and um we fell ultimately as a result i probably have to do like a part two because there's a lot of uh history which is uh which is involved said so the source or that the Saracens the Saracens right which means the Saracens or the or, or the Saracens was a term used in early cent centuries both in Greek and Latin write, writing to refer to a people who lived in near what was described by the Romans and the Arab socket like the Arabian the patrol and the Arabian desert uh, says the term means evolve during the the term means meaning in, involved during its historic usage during the early middle ages the term came to be associated with the tribe of arabia the old known source mentioned mean saka the oldest known source the oldest known source like the mentor or uh, um the oldest known source mentoring the Saracens in relation to Islam dates back to the 17th century in the Greek language, the Christian tack, the doctrine of Jacob or the doctrine of uh, like Jacob B. Or the doctrine of Jacob B, right? Alright, and um, you know, basically, you know, the doctrine of uh, the Christians was was you know about the the loss of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? And basically, um, Ishmael, you know, with the whole Islam and whatever, with like Muhammad as being their prophet. You know, because that whole thing was funded by, uh, you know, by Jake. You know, who was who was who founded that whole religion, among other major events. The 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 tract that discussion in it says the Muslim conquest of the Levant, which occurred after the rise of the. Russia Dun on the Catholic followed the death of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. All right, because Muhammad he 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 went like a a wild man, a madman, you know, and he and he and he got a lot of he got a lot of uh, power, man, and strength, you know, and uh, basically, um, you know, like they basically. Because a lot of our people were, st you know, were still there in the land, 
a lot of our people went to North Africa, you know, West, you know, and eventually, um, you know, West Africa and certain parts, and also uh, through um, the Iberian Peninsula, all right, through uh, Spain, Portugal, those region, all right. Says the teaching of Jacob, doctrine, uh, ethic, has has a controversial dating from the early 17th century to the late 18th century. A uh, Greek Christian, um, Paul Michael, tracked suggests uh set in Carthage in 60 Saka in Carthage in 634 AD but writing in written in Palestine sometime between 634 to 640 AD goes into that it says um in subs it suppose records a week long like discussion ending on july thirteenth six thirty four among Jews who had been forced forcibly baptized by order of the empire of the of the emperor all right because you know those were our people they were um you know, really, when you read about, um, you know, Constantine, like the Great, right, which was been like 334 AD with uh, the Constantine, uh, you know, with the treaty. And basically, um, you know, they, uh, they pretty much, uh, you know, they, you know, they assembled or whatever and, and they had an agreement and they basically, um, you know, cause a lot of them, they were, you know, like they were into the pagan worship, right? So they just used the pagan worship and they incorporated it with, with the, you know, like with, they incorporated it with the scriptures, you know, and, um, you know, the Ceramicis and like Tammuz or Isis and Horus, you know, the black madonna and all that and the sun all right all right because all that you know like all these stuff what was incorporated into the church it was they pretty much um incorporate these things into the church all right and um you know like that's why our, our people went off you know and like that's why um when you read about the crusades and what they had to go through or whatever a lot of the the arabs and stuff like they had a very big stronghold see all this over here now all the red you know in here like from antioch the arab caliphate or the um you know like jerusalem the alexander like you know like that was um you know that was all run by um you know by um you know by muhammad and uh and these other uh ishmaelites who took over man pretty much but yeah this is off of uh the 13th tribe by arthur kostler in the first 20 year in the first years of the of, of the higara muhammad's fight to to medina in 622 with which the arabs the calendar started the muslim had conquered persia syria like mesopotamia right, which would be like iraq you know, egypt and surrounding the Byzantine head heartland, all right, because at that time the Byzantine Empire was, you know, like you know, like they were very strong, but they were surrounded, 
you know, and basically the the Byzantine Empire fell in 1453 AD by the Ottoman Turks who uh, who took over that that whole uh, that region of Constantinople. It's a it's a present day Turkey in a deadly semi semicircle which extended from the Mediterranean to the Caucasus the Caucasus and the southern shores of the Caspian the cock says the Caucasus was f like was formidable natural of uh, like uh, uh, like natural like uh, a natural obstacle and it says um but no more forbidden than the thing that's pretty much it. What? You know, and um, a lot of our people, there were still like mingling, you know, with these, um, you know, with these Khazars too, right? The, the, you know, the whole that like, Byzantine emperors. You read uh, page twenty-three. Thus, during the first few decades of the 17th century just because it says just before the muslim hurricane have been unleashed from arabia the middle middle east was was dominated by the triangle of power byzantine persia and the western turkish empire right? and that and like they were funded by the arabs that the first two of these had been waged uh, intermittent, like, uh, an intermittent war against each, uh, each other for centuries and both seemed on the, ver the verge of collapse in sequel. The Byzantine like, like recovered but the Persian kingdom was soon to be met it, its dooms and the Khazar were actually in in the one in in an socket and the Khazar were actually in on the hill it says there were still nominable it says there were still nominally under the Serenity of the Western Turkish Kingdom, with within which the they represents represents the st strong effect force, and um, which they were soon to be succeed like succeeded, according like according in six twenty. Two A.D. The Roman Emperor uh, Heraclius concluded a military alliance with the Khazars. The first several, so you know that that was our Jake, you know, who was who was in power at the time, right, with the as the, the emperors, right, the Byzantine empires. The first of the several to follow in. Uh, it says prepared his it's like a, the first several to follow in prepare his decisive campaign against Persia there are several versions of the role played by the Khazar in that campaign which seems that have been sometime inglorious but the principal facts are well established. The Khazar that provided the Heraclean of the Herac or the Emperor Her Heraclinus, which four thousand four no forty thousand horses under the chieftain named Zibil. 
who participated in in the advantage in Persia. All right, that was pretty much it. There's a there's a lot of different type history, but um, ultimately, um, you know, Esau he came he he rose back to power. You know, basically, when you read about this uh, page um, fourteen and uh, Salakia, um hopefully. Uh, because my i'm not I'm, I'm not even reading at my my level i'm still on uh, recovery but just bear with me it says on uh, page 14 um in uh perhaps notice surprisingly given the circumstances this is page 14 that in 732 after the resounding caused our victory over the arabs the future, like I said, the future emperor Constantine the fifth married the Khazarian princess, right? So, you know that Jake, right, with the kingdom, you know, with the um, you know, unlike with the Byzantine kings, right, who who mixed up, you know, with these uh, Khazars and they married them, you know, said so marry the Khazar princess in due time. Their son became Emperor Leo the Fourth, so he, you know, so he was a Jake, but he, he but he's he 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 lied down with a, a so-called Edomite, you know, the Khazars, right? was known as Leo the Khazar. Says ironically, the last battle in the the war, uh, seven thirty-seven A.D., ended in the Khazar defeat. But by the time of the impetus of the Muslim holy war was spent, the caliphate was rocked by the internal the internal like says says the internal uh, dissensions and the Arab invaders returned their their steps across the caucus without having gained a proper foothold in the north where the cows are become more powerful than they of the previous been right so basically you know esau started to come back to power but you know jake Jake, he he, like, he because he 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 married the the the, the Khazar princess, and then eventually um, Esau started coming back to power gradually. All right, and and like that's why we we like we try to use them, you know, to, like to fund certain wars against the Arabs, all right, and um, you know the people of Iraq. You know Persia, you know, you know because we wanted back our land, but you know because we sinned, and it wasn't it wasn't that time, man. So Genesis sixteen and twelve, and he he will be a wild man, and his hand will be against every every man, every man's hand against him, and he will dwell in the presence of all the brethren. And that's what the Esau or um, Ishmael, you know, you know, like they're living fat right now, man. Look at Arabia, you know, um, what do you call it? The Arabian Empire, what they have, you know, with uh, with Arabia, um, the Arabian Empire. I forget what they call themselves, you know. Um, you know, and they're very strong. You know, and basically, um, you go in the second Ezra sixteen about uh, the boar, which means the Persians, and then the Arabs. You know, it's gonna be a, a serious war, man. Um, if 
few years later, a few years later, probably 740 AD, it said the king, his court, and the military ruling classes observed the Jewish faith and Judaism because of the status of the religion of the Khazar, right? And basically, they learned our laws, our customs, you know, from us. You know, Esau, he, he, like, he learned a lot of our, our statues and laws. So even right now, the whole, with the whole Judaism, you know, the people there in the state of Israel now, and um, like throughout their earth, earth, world, you know, which is run by you, um, you know, this whole um, state of Israel, was funded by, um, you know, by the Rothschild family, you know, who funded that, you know, um, like the Bell Floor Decoration. And, um, and they're very powerful, man. And they learn a lot of things from off of, from off of our knowledge, man. It says, uh, no doubt they're, it says they're, con it said they're come to, it said their compare like their contemporaries were astonished by the, the by this decision as modern scholars were when they came across the evidence of the era byzantine rush and the russian and hebrew sources it says it was the jewish faith was become the official religion of the ruling strata of society needs to say the accept of the Jewish faith as the status religion the state religion of the an of the F of the of the eth of an ethical non Jewish people could could be subject of interesting speculation right because they're not you know like you know like they learned a lot of our statutes our laws you know from the sephardic jew right which um you know which we were very uh strong and powerful but we fell we fell one second There's a lot of things stuck here. And even that's why um, the Byzantine Empire, you know, and Jake, you know, like they thought that if they could defeat the the Arabs, you know, you know, th th that we would have got back our land and, but no, but that wasn't the case because it wasn't, it wasn't that time. It wasn't that time. Um, it's like, yeah. Lot of different thing. I have to probably do a part two, cause I'm basically that this whole thing was talking about the Crusades. You know, so the Crusades was a series of religious wars. It says, it, like it says, in in it inundated supported and sometimes direct by the latin church and medieval period right because we were in power at these times right so when you go to revelation revelation 20 and i saw revelation 21 and i saw another angel come down from heaven having the key to bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand so that's when 
Esau, he he fell. All right, and that's what's gonna happen again. You're gonna go you're gonna go down again, and Israel, you know, Jacob's gonna come back to power, man. All right, and he laid hold on the dragon. All right, the old serpent. All right, so the Greco-Roman Empire. All right, you know, and uh, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So they were bound for over a thousand years, and um, basically seven forty-two A.D. You know, is when they had like the, um, you know, like they, you know, like they came out, you know, and they converted to Judaism, you know. And because they were following the Torah, all right, which was written, you know, and, um, you know, because we, you know, because we were following this Torah, all right, and um, so Jake, you know, Jake basically, uh, you know, like migrated with them, you know, and learned, and, and they learned a lot of, a lot of our knowledge from you're from off of um you know like from off of jake and like thus why they're still call themselves Judah, jewish right and uh war so a lot of different stuff cast him into bottomless pit and shut him up and sealed up seal set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more till a thousand years be fulfilled and after those days he shall be loose a little season and that's the little season what they're in basically the fall of Constantinople, all right, so-called Byzantine, all right, and then uh, Ottoman Turks coming back to power, you know, um, the fall of Spain, you know, and basically a lot of our people, um, you know, some of our people went into certain parts of Portugal, and uh, a lot of our people were. Um, a lot of our people were convertos or moranos all right because our people converted to catholicism all right and all that because you know our, our like our people was always into that kind of stuff all right with the church and stuff but ultimately um esau he came back to power all right with uh pope alexander the sixth of rome the borgia family you know the Cologne family, all right, which um, that um, like Christopher Cologne, and all that. So this is very vast. I was gonna go into the whole uh, the Portuguese Jews in Jamaica. Let me see. I might have to do a part two. Um. See, yeah, this is the Crusade, the Second Crusades, all right, with the Sarsarins. All right, and the, the knights, right, which are Jake, you know, and and uh, like a lot of the sorcerers, they're Jake who's mixed up with the Arabs, all right, because a lot of our people were um, were subject under the damn Arabs over there in uh, you know, Palestine, certain parts of that land, you know, Syria and stuff, and um, so we're fighting, man, all right. Because they thought that you know that this war, this is gonna be after is gonna be the war of all wars, right? But that wasn't the case, right? Because the Lord, He didn't, he, He's not, He never, He's not on this. He's now He's He's coming back now, because this is gonna be the war of all wars, like to end all wars, man. It's a lot of different stuff. Might have to do a part two. Yeah, I'm gonna probably do a part two. So with that, I'd like to say I'll praise due to you. How about Shimon Shai, the one to the apostle of Great Millstone? Peace and bless the whole for members of the elect. Hopefully this video is edifying. Um you can do your research, you could read this book. All right, you could buy it as a, as a PDF or you could, uh, you could buy it for the low, for the cheap, all right, the, um, 
the holy it says um it says the third team tribe by Arthur Kostler, written by Arthur Kostler. All right, so we'll call uh, Small Hat. Um, and this one a good book too, the Portuguese Jew to Jamaica. All right, which was uh, the Sephardic Jews, all right, or the Iberian Peninsula Jews, fleet, fleet, you know, who fled, you know, basically from thirteen ninety one to fourteen ninety two. A lot of our people fled from Spain, all right, and um, a lot of our people came to the Americas and established themselves. And we had a trade, a lot of, uh, we had a trade route, we had, you know, we had a lot of different things, man. Um, hopefully I could do a part two. This is also a good book, Nature Knows No Color Line, written by J. Doff R. Windsor, uh, no, written by J. R. Rogers. So with that, let's see how praise due to you. How about you, Shalom.